We're not alone, nation, when it comes to CHD. Coronary heart disease is on the rise across the globe. For instance, in Australia, 42.1% of adult males and 30.9% of adult females were classified as overweight and is on the rise still. America is just the same. Average weight aged between 20 and 39 years of age has increased by nearly 20 pounds over the last four decades. And what of the UK? UK has been named the 10th fattest country of the world, where the average adult weighs in at 167.1 pounds, that's 75.8 kilograms. The average body mass of the world is 67 kilograms. But hey, what's wrong with being a bit chubby, eh? I still play golf in my ridiculous trousers and zoom around in my buggy. It's not all that bad, right? Unfortunately, in reality, that's wrong. Being overweight or overfat increases the risk of diabetes, cancers, strokes, and coronary heart disease. So what is CHD? Only the biggest killer in the UK society to date? Just last year, it took the lives of 94,000 people in the UK alone. That's more than the whole population of Brentwood. To understand CHD, you need to get the basic facts behind the heart. The heart is a pump. It has four chambers and its purpose is to circulate blood around the body. The heart receives its vital oxygen supply through three coronary arteries. CHD is the buildup of fatty plaque known as atherosclerosis inside the three coronary arteries. When the buildup is sufficient to restrict but not stop the blood flow, the result is an angina, a pain or discomfort in the chest. It is not described as a disease, but is a symptom of CHD. When the buildup of atherosclerosis is sufficient to interrupt blood flow to the heart, the result is the death of heart, tissue and muscle cells. This is most commonly known as a heart attack. But what causes this buildup of plaque? It's all down to cholesterol. Cholesterol is a natural product needed for many of the body's functions such as the construction of cell membranes and hormones. There are two types, HDL, known as high density lipoproteins. This is known as the good cholesterol. The more you have, the less risk you have of a heart attack. HDL takes the bad cholesterol out of the bloodstream and takes it to the liver to be broken down. HDL can be improved though. For instance, if you Stop smoking, your HDL will automatically improve. But for regular exercise on a daily basis, many experts recommend about 30 to 45 minutes of light aerobic exercise, about three days a week, four days a week, can dramatically improve your HDL levels. On the other hand, there is LDL, low density lipoproteins. In high amounts, they increase the risk of CHD. We have to reduce these LDLs and keep HDL levels high to maintain a healthy lifestyle. To reduce LDLs, we can do it through our diet. Reducing saturated fats and trans fats can dramatically decrease LDLs in our bloodstream, therefore decreasing CHD. Saturated fats are found in animal sources, things like cheese, dairy products on its own, and some protein based materials such as beef and pork. There are also supplements on the market such as statins, drugs designed to reduce the levels of LDL in our bloodstreams and therefore decreasing the risk of CHD. There are also lifestyle choices as well such as stopping smoking and less drinking therefore reducing the chances of CHD. CHD it's not just triggered by one's diet. There are other factors, including age, inheritance, high blood pressure, smoking, diabetes, blood clots. So experts acknowledge that they are factors that we cannot help, such as age and a long family history of CHD. But lifestyle choices, such as excessive smoking, drinking, bad eating habits, dormant behaviour towards exercise, these factors we can change, which will decrease the risk of CHD, thus improving the standard of living and life expectancy in the UK.